all right how you guys doing good morning ish it's about almost nine o'clock if i'm not mistaken um let's see almost 10 o'clock <laughs> december 16th today we launched out of the uh new carmen kayaks place which is not a bad spot i'm gonna take some film of that on the way back and uh, see so you guys can see the launch it's five dollars but you're in direct area what i'm coming to check today is the uh north end of pine island so i'm checking out there's a there's a place that has a nice sundial out here you can get off and check it out there's a place where you can get uh there's a campground where there's a there's a swing i want to see how all these things did after the hurricane plus i just wanted to see if there's any fish over there too today's not really a fishing trip just kind of a, a uh, you know intelligence gathering just to see what's going on see what it looks like and i do i do have some rods and i will be fishing but uh i'm not going to be too putting too much emphasis on on, on fishing so here we go we, we got to the uh, dock which surprisingly is here i didn't think uh this thing was gonna make it but uh it was i guess well hidden i know there's had to be water over here easily um so what we're gonna do i'm gonna pull up right next to this dock i'm gonna get out see what's happening side I'm gonna have this rope here I use to tie down huh. I can get it out of here you yeah. said that done there we go you said that done right, that's pretty good on there what we're gonna do is look up right next to this thing. Move my rod to this side. Oh, ho, ho. fiddler crabs right there. I could get a few of those, that wouldn't suck. It might be even sheep's head under this bridge. Interesting. That's not gonna be enough. I'm just holding. Okay, here we go. That's tied down pretty well. That ain't going nowhere. Let's, let's see if there's any fish I can see. A lot of uh, minnows under there. And that's where. That just in case. Looks like the path. Either somebody cleared it out, or uh, it just did better than I thought it would. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, it's all right. I don't need the phone. I think it's this way. Let's get to the sundial. Yep. So there is some obstruction on the path itself and there's the sundial wow is that oh there's the bathroom okay we're here wow this is all messed up this was obviously open a little more before you can still get through Here's the sundial, right here, still survived. 
Here's the outer structure, I guess Hurricane Charlie. There used to be some sort of dome bricks around it. And, uh, but here's the sundial. Not much sun out right now, so it'll be tough to get it. I know it's about 10 o'clock. That's 10 there. Yes, there is a little bit of a shadow on there, but. And then, uh, let's see what the beach looks like now. Well, the benches are gone. Oh, wow, the camp. Oh, wow. Well, that's a big difference, guys. Um, this is probably, wow, it washed up. So up here, there used to be a nice little campground and some benches. And uh, that's not here no more. Down here. Let's see. And this, uh, this beach used to be covered with snow. Um, is, right now, I'm not going through the outside today because as you can see, it's a little windy today. And, uh, and it's coming directly from the north, northwest. So this side is just washed out, but here we go. work in progress okay so they're doing stuff on it but this is the condition of it now um they they're working on it that's good to see at least that someone's working on getting it back to normal operations um i can't believe that's still there <laughs> that's incredible that's incredible biggest differences I can tell guys is that there's already more sand pushed in all the way over here I'm sure that on low tide there's almost a long a big beach here um, flatter which was in existence before this was kind of like a little drench in front but now it looks like it gets deeper right away past that sand so definitely some different conditions for fishing that side now and uh, I won't be able to check it today. It's just too gross on that side. But Sundial survived, I'm surprised. Whoever built this did a very, very good job. All right. And that trail's messed up too. We'll take the same one we came here. Of course, you always got to be careful. This is Florida. There are snakes. <laughs> so, I'm vigilant. There's got to be something. A lot of activity and shit going down over here.
Barracuda guys. Gotta watch them teeth. So I'm gonna troll. I'm gonna guess a trout. We got a blowfish, we got a barracuda, and then we got a little little trout. This is a little guy. Nothing. To... Real skinny here. We got some flowing water over here. Should be a red or something over here. <laughs> Should be something over here. Just too juicy not to be. Just too juicy not to be a red right here somewhere. This looks like this is a great red. red. Mm, this is the setup and the knot I use. Just the loop knot for my uh, jig heads. So you make your little loop, pass it through the eye of the jig head. Bring it in tight. However close you put this circle is how close that gap's going to be from your jig head. So you do two twists and then you put that through and there's your loop knot. It's not long enough where it's going to get stuck in the uh, in there. Sometimes if you make them too big you can have it. It'll get stuck in there but right now it's not going to. And we're going to stay with the wise guys tackle. Here we go. Good one. Good snook. Good one. Good one. Stay low. No more jumps. It's enough jumps from you. It's enough jumps from you. Snook right here. bad one. Not a bad snook for this slow of a day. Oh, yeah, saves the day. Woo -wee. Let's do a quick measurement of her. Oh, 
27 and a half inch snook. Very healthy looking snook. She's fat. She's been eating well. She looks pretty healthy. I see no issues with her. Oh, baby girl. You want to go home? Uh, see ya. Into the darkness. Into the darkness.